thanks guys for uh, joining me tonight yes I'm gonna show you this uh, how to calculate the quadratic form function whose vertex has been given and why intercept has been given so today here we're gonna see that uh, we can see that our vertex is negative 2 and 3 and our y intercept is 0 1 so for us to calculate the quadratic equation this equation determine the quadratic function whose vertex has been given as negative 2 3 and whose y intercept is 1 that's like 0 1 for y intercept so the formulas that we can use is f of x sorry guys I have really poor handwriting so f of x is equal to a into x minus h squared plus k k is constant sorry plus k so k is y value of the vertex h is going to be the x value of the vertex so the formula will be a uh, x value of the uh, that's we're going to replace h with the x value of the vertex is negative 2 x minus minus 2 squared plus k is the y value of the vertex which is 3 I'm really bad with this handwriting and we're going to take that one so right now we a is equals x minus minus 2 is equals x plus 2 squared plus 3. So in order for us to get the value of A, we have to replace uh, the whole equation with the values of y intercept. So our y value on um, our y intercept is going to be 1, right? 1 is equals to and our x our value is 0 a is equal to 0 that's x value plus 2 squared plus 3 in order for us to get a value of a so the value of a is um, if you expand 0 plus 2 squared I'm not sure you guys know how to expand that it's equal 0 plus 2, 0 plus 2. If you follow the equation, it's going to be 0 squared plus, like this, and then 0 times 2 plus 0. And then 2 times 0 plus 0, and then 2 times 2 is 4. So basically, it's 4. So if you come back over here, A is equal to 4. A times 4, because we already got 4. Uh, 0 plus 2 squared, 0 plus 2 squared is equal to 4. It's equal to 1. And then plus 3. So now we can find the value of A. So A, so we can bring it back. I'm going to continue over here. Of course, you know, um, you're going to bring 3. It's going to be a negative on the other side. So it's going to be minus 1 minus 3. It's equal to A times 4 is a4 or 4a other people usually want to say is 4a so minus 4 is equal to 4a if you divide both sides by 4 by 4 it's gonna leave you with a is equal to minus 4 over 4 which is basically minus 1 so a is equal to minus 1. So now we already find the value of A here. Right? 
a is equal to minus 1. So now we can go back and replace our value. So right now we found our value of a. So now we try to replace the whole equation. Remember the equation f of x is equal to a minus h squared sorry so remember the equation f of x is equal to a into x minus h squared plus k so now we get a value of a a is equal to minus 1 so the equation would be like minus 1 because remember the value of k was minus 1 and then now we're going to replace all the equation with the value of vertex which is negative 2, 3 right so negative 2 our, our, our x value is negative 2 and our y value is 3 so it's going to be x minus minus 2 plus 3 so if you fold this one it's gonna be positive x plus 2 it's gonna be minus x I remember it was x squared so before we go over there so if we fold minus um, x plus 2 squared x plus 2 squared gonna be x squared right from x times x plus 2x right x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4 so it's gonna be x squared plus 4x plus 4 and then remember we still have the negative sign outside so our value will be negative 1 into x squared here x squared plus 4x plus 4 and remember we still have plus 3 outside, positive 3 so if you multiply the, the squared fraction over here by a negative 1 the answer will be negative x squared minus 4x minus 4 plus 3 so now we're about to get our quadratic equation for the graph that we've been given over here so this is the final solution minus x squared minus 4x minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 and this is our final answer thank you guys for joining me and I hope you, uh, you learn or you pick something tonight from this uh, math that I tried to teach myself and show you how to do it, how to solve it too. So make sure you hit the subscribe button below here and we're going to bring you a lot of tutorials from next week. We're going to be doing this with my friend over here who's behind the camera. Every once a week, if you have questions about math, we don't prodigies, but we can try it. But if you get a question, put it here down in the comments below and we're going to try to solve together. And thanks again for joining us tonight. You guys have a lovely, wonderful night. Thank you.